Hey everybody! Hi! It's Becky from PowerToolsWithThread.com. That's my blog. Um, I have a light on up here behind me. One of you had asked uh, that about that. It's a Kahlua lamp made from a real bottle of Kahlua. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, a friend of mine that I was stationed with in, at uh, Kirtland Air Force Base in Albuquerque, New Mexico, back like 1990 to 92, um, her name was Karen Coffey, no kidding, and uh, Karen loved Kahlua, and she and I killed that bottle off all by ourselves with white Russians. <laughs> oh, we probably had a little help. It wasn't just me and her, but uh, that was my going away gift from her to me before I shipped out to Korea in uh, 92. So you had asked, one of you had asked, is that just a bottle with a lampshade on it, or is it really a lamp? So... It's really a lamp, but it's a little annoying. I'm going to go turn it off. Hold on a second. Okay, so lots to talk about today. Today is Wednesday, uh, February 20... February. Y'all, sometimes I go through a time warp. It's March 27th, I think, 2019. And uh, what have I got going on here? So... We are leaving for the coast tomorrow night and won't be home until Sunday. So we're having two other couples go with us down there for the weekend. It's my husband's birthday. And so I probably won't get to another video this weekend. I probably will be out of YouTube world for about a week, I imagine. So I just wanted to catch you up with what's, uh, what I've got in the works and what's going on. Um, my husband is at our friend's house right now spraying ants. They're moving into a new place, uh, and it's cleared land, and they've got, you know, rural ants, so he's out there doing his thing. Oh, you want to save some money? Fire your uh, exterminator? Go to domyown.com, and you want to get... I don't know how I got off on this, but I meant to tell you guys this anyway. You want to get... Uh, in, indoor pesticide is... Tall Star, I think it's T-A-L-S-T-A-R, and the exterior pesticide is called Termador, T-E-R-M-A-D-O-R-E, -E, I think. That's what your exterminator uses. My husband got his applicator's license here in Texas, and um, you can't buy those chemicals here in Texas unless you have a license. And because, uh, you know, I wanted to fire my exterminator. I'm tired of paying $100 every three months. That's crazy. You know, and sometimes they don't do such a good job. And so I'm thinking, well, I know I can do this better. I'm a do-it-my-own-self kind of girl. You guys know that. We seamstresses and quilters, we kind of do stuff on our own. So anyway, he was paying outrageous amounts for these chemicals at a local place here in town. And then I said, I wonder if there's somewhere online I can get it cheaper. <laughs> Y'all, that domyown.com is out of California, and you don't need a license. You can buy it yourself. Now, you got to go get you one of those spray jobs where you pump up. You know, they got those at Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever. But, y'all, so you spend like $70 on a little bottle, okay? And you use an ounce with a gallon, and it lasts forever. Believe me, you can fire your exterminator and save a load of money in the process. You can thank me later. Okay. I finished the uh, piece quilt and got the borders on it and everything. Let me turn the camera so you guys can see. Look. It turned out so, so pretty, you guys. I just love it. And um, I've got, I got the borders on it there. And uh, I bought, and you can go to my blog and see better pictures. Um, I already blogged the finish. I got the yellow. It's called Sunny Side Up Sugar Creek Lighthearted Yellow or uh, Lighthearted Yardage. Can you see that? Let me get it out of the plastic. And um, I got that. This right here is going to be the backing. I got that for the backing. And then I got um, Sunny Side Up Friendly Cucumber Yardage in green. It, it actually matches the pattern to the yellow centers on the quilt. And this is going to be the binding. Can you see it up close? That's going to be the binding. 
Okay. So, um, I don't know if I'll get that done this weekend. We're going to have company, and you know, you can't get a thing done when you have company. So, all right, I had to go to the quilt store the other day to get some thread. Darn. And, um, oh, you know, while we're on the topic of, so I got all of these from Missouri Star. I also got, if you go to Sweet Pea Embroidery, I think it's SWPEA.com is the website. She has a gorgeous, gorgeous embroidery uh, in the hoop print for, um, it's, oh, it's a project for a cross with Easter lilies. Oh my gosh, y'all, it is so, so pretty. Um, the one that's on an ombre fabric with, it's kind of a red to yellow with a brown cross and um, white Easter lilies on it. And it's a wall hanging. So I thought I'd go ahead and make one for my son. Maybe he'll hang it in the church or hang it at home or whatever. He's a pastor at uh, Mesa Hills Bible Church in um, Colorado Springs. I probably just said too much, but yeah, you can go to the website and see him. So... I found this, on um, Missouri Star, I found this ombre fabric. It's kind of a gold, darker gold at the bottom. And it goes up to a brighter yellow at the top. So I'm going to use this because I have no imagination and I copy everybody else's stuff. And then I also got, it's called Mountain Pass Wood Burnt Umber Yardage. I have the white for the Easter lilies. Y'all have got to go to that website, Sweet Pea Embroidery, S-W-P-E-A, Sweet Pea, S-W-P-E Embroidery.com, and see this thing. It's just beautiful, and I want to make it in time for Easter. So this looks like a wood print. That's what I'm going to make the cross out of on there. I'm excited to do that. That should be fun. I might take that down this weekend. But, you know, every time I order from Missouri Star, and I have been ordering from them since they opened practically, um, like their very first year in business. I remember when they celebrated their first birthday. Uh, every time, every time, I get a personalized thank you note on my invoice. Every single time. And y'all, they send thousands out. Thousands of packages every day they send out. I have never, ever received an invoice from them that did not have a personalized thank you note on it. That's, to me, that's amazing customer service. And I will shop there, you know, for fabric. Um, those of you that have businesses, it's huge. There's a lot of times people don't get a birthday card but from their insurance agent, you know. That's just pitiful. So there's a lot of people out there that just really, really appreciate just that little personalized touch. So if you have a business, you might consider some way or another to make people happy. So, your customers, keep them happy, right? Um, okay, I talked about the quilt. I'm still, there's a moth in here. Great. Uh, it's a back patio. They come in. Um, I'm still working on my husband's shirt. I need to get that done. His birthday is Sunday, and he's home recovering from his surgery, and he doesn't go back to work until Wednesday, and so I haven't had any time. I get home and he's like, hey, you know, I've been by myself all day, spend time with me. Well, I'm not sewing. <laughs> I love him though. But, um, so this blouse that I have on right here, I got to show you guys. I had ordered a blouse, I think it was, oh, you know, it was just from a catalog you get in the mail. I don't remember the name of it. Um, it doesn't matter. It's just one of those little skinny catalogs you get in the mail. And you know I love border prints. Well, this blouse was in the catalog. And let me hold it up. Let me get back here where you can see the whole thing. Can you see the whole thing? I just loved this. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I have to have that blouse. All right? So the blouse was... Um, it was like $38, North Style. That's the name of the catalog. Can you see the tag? North Style? That's the name of the catalog, okay? I don't order from, I hardly, have, I haven't ordered from them in years. This may have been the last thing that I ordered from them. This was several, several years ago. So, um, $38 for the blouse, right? And then there was shipping and handling and all that. 
all said and done, I was like right at $50 for this blouse. $50. And, but it was so pretty. And a lot of times I go, you know, I can't source that fabric. I can't, I can't do that. There's a lot of fabric that the manufacturers have that you, you don't get access to. We, we people that buy in the stores, we don't get access to it. So anyway, I got this and I was, I was like, oh, it's fine. It's $50. It's a beautiful blouse. I love it. I'll wear it to death. Well, when it got here, of course, being a seamstress, I got to looking at it. It has a raglan sleeve, okay? There's not a set-in sleeve. It's a raglan sleeve. And it's got a little split here at the hem, okay? It's got a split at the bottom. Y'all, this is two pieces of fabric. It's two pieces of fabric. And that's it. And it was $50. Then I got mad, and I'm like, dang it. <laughs> you know what I did, though? I did what's called a pattern rub-off, okay? Um, or I'm sure there's another term for it, but... What I did was, I put some paper on my cutting table, okay, and I folded this bad boy in half, and uh, laid it on the fold, and traced all around it, the front and the back piece. And I made myself a two-piece pattern for this blouse, and it's called my catalog blouse pattern, okay? And I just added on one half inch, um, or however much it, yeah, half an inch added to all the way around, except for the sides. The sides I added one quarter inch because I surged them closed. But I added one half inch on the hem, the lower hem. I added an extra half inch on the sleeve. And I added a half inch for the neckline because it's a simple fold over neckline. That's all it is. It doesn't have any bias tape or anything. It's a fold-over neckline. And that's it. So that's what this blouse is from right here. I have another one, but it's in the wash right now. So this blouse is identical to that. And it's this pattern. I love it. I got this fabric at Mood. And um, so it holds the color very well. It's been washed a million times. It hasn't pilled. It's really, really nice, super soft and slinky. This is also on my blog. Um, I did blog this a couple years ago when I made it. So, uh, and then I got some cheap Walmart fabric and made another one. It was the, I know you guys have seen it. It's like a black base and it has bright blue and lime green hibiscus flowers on it. Beautiful fabric. That one hasn't pilled or faded either. So that's the one that's in the wash because I wore it to work this week. But uh, how far are we on the video here? Yeah, 17 minutes, getting there, 16, 20 or something like that. So anyway, I just want to let you know what I've got going on. And um, I appreciate all your comments. Thank you so much for all your subscriptions. You guys are so nice. And you know, one of the nicest things y'all say is, I feel like I'm sitting there chatting with one of my girlfriends. Well, that is just, that's the way I feel about it too. So I think that's wonderful. But all right, you guys. Oh, I buried my remote. Here it is. <laughs> oh, I got one more thing. I got one more thing. I forgot to tell you. When I went to get the thread over at the uh, quilt store, remember me telling you that blue bonnets are my favorite flower? That was in my last video. Well, they had a blue bonnet panel. Look at that. It's not a print either. See? It's woven throughout. It's gorgeous. Just a beautiful, beautiful panel. And um, they're having the Blue Bonnet Shop Hop this weekend around my area in South Texas and um, around the San Antonio area. And I knew if I didn't get this panel, it would be gone. So, because that Shop Hop starts tomorrow, I think. Anyway, yeah. So, it's, it's the 28th, 29th. Today might the 27th. Anyway, it's this coming weekend. So, I wanted to get this. And then I got... Um, I bought a bright, pretty grunge yellow. It has some orange and gray in it. It's going to be a smaller outer border, which I think really picks up the yellow in the panel. And then I bought this blue right here for a, uh, 
I think I'll do, I don't know, a, th a four inch border around it. Three or four inch border. Not too big. Let me fold that up. Hold that up to see if that'll work. Does that work? Can't see the blue. But this really picks up the blue in the blue bonnets. So, and it's just going to be a wall hang. So, pretty, pretty. I like it. I had to get me a blue bonnet panel. <laughs> Y'all, I got so many projects in the works. Fun, fun, fun. Keeps me out of the bars. Okay, I will see you guys later. Y'all have an amazing rest of your week. And, uh, ooh, Survivor's on tonight. Gotta watch that. Bye!